Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, run on over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lit Family. Now that you're a part of us, you guys, we do some things over here. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, Comment like you share and go for the team. Comment like you share and go for the team. Comment like you share and don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment like you share. Okay, you guys, check this out. Today, we've got one of my favorite meals. So let's go ahead and pray so we can get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? You guys, today, we have got pig ears. <laughs> you guys that have been following my channel for a while, you know that is my favorite meat in the world. You guys, I should have had on the get down shirt, but we've been doing some extra cleaning and things and stuff and things and stuff and things and stuff. And I don't know where it's at. So, anyway... This is a pseudo get down in the get down shirt. Hey, y'all ain't got the get down shirt, but this is gonna have to do. They both got stains all over them anyway, and they're the same color. But guess what, though? Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben need to help us out, y'all, because y'all know I'm finna get to eat. Y'all, let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Mmm. 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 Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, check this out. Like I said, you guys, we've got the pig ears. We've got the rutabagas. We've got our little tomatoes that we eat it with. And over here to the side, y'all got, got the lips hot sauce. And if you would like for you a bottle, make sure you look in the description box. I put it way up at the top so you couldn't miss it. You guys, we have everything we need. We got our peppers right here. Let's get to eating. Let's get to eating. Mmm. Mm-mm. Bye. -bye. Ooh. Y'all seem like I ain't had rutabagas in forever. And I know they mean it long. Cause I cook them a lot. But honey, it's not just a bit forever. Y'all, we got three pig ears over here. Let's go ahead and get some tomatoes down here. Like so. And we can move a little something, something around down here. So we'll be able to get to, uh-oh. Y'all, they tender. So we'll be able to get to them like we want to. I know that probably just ruined the whole plate for a lot of you. But guess what, y'all? We finna get to eating. We finna get to eating. We can't be worried about the plate looking pretty right now. Y'all, ooh. I'm gonna put this lips hot sauce over here, honey. And baby, I'm finna get it. I'm finna get it. I'm finna get it. So how y'all doing today? <coughs> Excuse me. So how you all doing today? How is your day going? I hope that you are in good spirits. I really, really do. Let me go ahead and give y'all the first bite here. That's what it looked like with the hot sauce on it, baby. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 Oh, <laughs> y'all, oh, oh, for real, y'all, anytime that I set my mouth down on some pig ears, it's just like running to an old, long lost friend, and baby, with that lips high sauce on it, baby, oh, y'all, this is so good, this is so good, mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mmm. 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 Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. Uh, uh. Y'all be something in my tooth. Baby, y'all, not only is this my most favorite meat in the world, because it is, but this is my most favorite thing to go with. For real. Now, some macaroni and cheese and some, and some sweet peas is really, really good with pigs as well. But baby, for me, give me some rutabagas. That's what I want. And then I'm telling y'all, y'all know, oh, y'all, this is good. It's just good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I had a lot of y'all last time that told me that y'all did try them. And that some of y'all told me that y'all husbands were down south and Anyway, so I want some new of y'all to try them this time. If you eat pork and you just got the, you know, preconceived, mm, 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 this preconceived notion that it's gross or that you wouldn't like to eat it because you know what it is, get over it, honey. I cannot allow you to be being bougie like that. Y'all just try it. Uh, they're not expensive anyway. You know what I'm saying? You know, just throw you some up in a pot, put your few seasons in there, and let it rip until it gets soft. It does have cartilage in the dog. So, if you're a texture person, and eh, you may, and then you don't like gristle. But if you like gristle, you'll like this. Mmm. Mm. Y'all. Oh, this is my favorite meat in the world. It's just so good. It is so good. But anywho, enough about that. Uh, if any of you guys tried it and haven't tried it, let me know. And let me know how you liked it. Okay. Let me know and let me know how you liked it. Woo! And then it's hot sauce, y'all. It's hot, baby. The last few bottles of hot sauce have been hot, hot, hot. But this one here is hot. It really, really is. But I love it. Mm -mm. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Some of the people, I told y'all we had a lot of, a lot of influx of orders. Once we put the website for the extra spicy, once we put a link for the extra spicy on the website, we had an influx of a whole bunch of orders for it. And baby, everybody that sent me back said it does not disappoint. Y'all, this hot sauce is hot, for real. It is hot. The regular, Samin, I mean, it has a nice little kick. And this hot sauce gets hotter as it ages. Like, when you get it, I haven't refrigerated it before you get it. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. I know a lot of people, believe it or not, I'm telling you that for real. <sighs> y'all, I know a lot of people, for real that do not want, nor are they interested in hot sauce that has been in the refrigerator. They just don't like it. I don't I, I don't understand it. I like, you know, I can eat room temperature hot sauce. I can. But to me, hot sauce has a better flavor when it's cold to me. And then I like my hot sauce thick too. That's why I make mine thick. And once you put it in that refrigerator and it cools down, all of those herbs and spices and heats and things and stuff go to marinate together, honey. <laughs> Baby. Mmm. <laughs> so anyway, I don't refrigerate it before I send it to you. 
Um, but when you get it refrigerated, I mean, to me, for the best flavor of it, you refrigerate it and then make sure you shake it really, really well. You know what I mean? And baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My friend April Low, she been won the extra spicy. And she ordered it. I sent it to her, too. She probably is just about getting it. She probably is. She probably just about getting it, y'all. Uh, because she said she needed her some more heat. Well, I guarantee you that it's spicy. It's going to deliver. I'm going to see what she said about it. <laughs> hey! I'm going to see what she said about it, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, it's so good. So, you all. I'm going to have to touch on it for a moment. The scene. Are you all making sure that you're being safe? You're keeping your hands washed. Y'all be careful out there. Be careful, y'all. For real. Be careful. Now, I have been seeing a lot of stuff about, you know, a lot of people hoarding things. And wanting to get gathered things. Gather. Um... Uh, now, y'all, me, myself, and I, I'm not going to sit here, partially because of the fact that everything that I need, I already have for the most part. I mean, I don't need to look for toilet paper and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I'm not going to sit here and be, uh, excuse me, y'all, judgmental toward anyone for whatever actions that they're taking right now because this is scary. But, They say there's a lot of hoarding going on. People get into fights over stuff. Y'all be careful. Be careful. And be safe out there. For real, be careful and be safe out there. But now you got to go and gather you a few things now. Y'all got to go gather you a few things now. Or get somebody to gather you a few things. Or order you a few things from Amazon or something. For real. Go and get yourself a few items now. You know, you may can't be 100% everywhere, but if you can get a decent uh, 50% in most areas, you know, you can wang with it. You know, we all know how to, you know, dip and dash, dip and dash, you know. Hell, I mean, you know, if, I mean, shoot, if you can't get, look, if you can't get no washing powders, get you some extra dish detergent. It's so Y'all got to be smart about this thing because they say it's getting rough out there, y'all. No, I don't want y'all out there getting y'all self hurt over these three little items. Just be smart. Because there's always a suitable substitute. You can believe that. If they don't have the sanitizer, the sanitizer wipes that you need, you know, with the alcohol content to, uh, you know what I'm saying, cure or at least kill this stuff, all y'all got to do is get y'all some wet ones or... Baby wipes and take alcohol and pour them in the back to make an alcohol content be in it because it's going to soak it all up. Y'all be smart about this thing now. Be smart about this thing. Don't just get out there and leave some items that you know you may could use because it's not specifically what uh, the news in different places and things are saying that you need. Anything, anything is better than nothing. Trust me. But alcohol is alcohol. Alcohol don't change. But it's the alcohol content that kills the stuff on services. Get you some regular baby wipes. And that's all you can find. And soak them in alcohol. That's all you gotta do. Be smart about this thing now, y'all. And like I said, if they ain't got no um dishwasher liquid, get you some washing powder. For real. Y'all, I done washed dishes and washing powder so many times in my life. Now, provided you do have to rinse them more. But they will get your dishes clean. Yes, they will. They sure will. They will get your dishes clean. 
buy you up some paper plates and things and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Be smart about this thing, y'all. Mm-hmm. But anywho, y'all, let's talk about this episode of the Atlanta Housewives. Honey, baby, I cannot not discuss that. Honey, did y'all see that? Honey, if you miss Atlanta Housewives, this last episode, honey, let me tell you what happened up on that joint up on tonight, baby. These folks done went to Greece. You already know that. So, well, the highlight of it for me, meaning, well, first of all, Kenya is going through a divorce. It's done hit everywhere. Kenya's going through a divorce. Okay, so her and Candy had this trip. Do y'all remember when they went and played that? What was that thing? That kickball something. Kickball, dodgeball game or whatever. And King and Candy told them they were going to take them to Greece. Prior to Mark's little Shindy fundraiser. But after Mark's little Shindy fundraiser, they announced that King and Mark were getting divorced. Okay, well, they already had this trip to Greece planned, right? Huh? Cynthia and Candy have been all over to the house. The girl laid up crying and things stuff. Y'all yeah, were good. But anyway, let me get on to the point. So y'all, yeah, they get up there to Greece. Kenya don't fly with the rest of them. So what she does is she gets her own private flight. Her and her baby and her nanny. And when they get there, she meets them at the terminal. Or some kind of way at their bus. Yeah. You know. That gets over there, her. And once they get over there, <sighs> you know, somebody always got this bright idea about sitting down, love and light, and everybody's kumbaya, throwing it, honey, police. That storyline for that whole kumbaya, let's sit down and throw stuff up in the fire. Y'all know they was over there on that, um, uh, over there on that uh, ocean one time, honey, with the lamp, with the love, candles and stuff, love and light and all that, baby. They always come up with these ideas about love and light and how they're going to take their differences and set them aside and move on. I wish they would take that out of the show. Honey, somebody always got their good idea. Baby, when I tell you that Nene done read Kenya for Phil, honey. Hey! <laughs> Yo! It was so funny! Honey, they got the passing words. And Nene done told that girl that that's why her, uh, that's why her husband don't, oh, uh, y'all. The girl is over there on the retreat. Just got her little walking paper. Just got her little walking papers, honey. She said she left him, though, is what she said. Either way, we know King didn't want to divorce. And Nene done told the girl, yeah, that's why her husband was leaving her, because her husband don't like her. Or uh, her husband don't like her, that's why he's leaving her. So, I don't know, y'all. Anywho, it was a blow up. Baby, I was giggling. I was. I ain't gonna lie. I was giggling. Y'all don't know they got some drama going on. No wreck now. For real. They really don't. And then, Kenya... They went on some, they did something, a restaurant that takes you way up in the air. Now you had dinner up there. Kingdom got up there and were picking at Cynthia about her wine business. Basically telling the whole world that Cynthia don't know nothing about no wine, honey. But they went on through that. That came up in a little kumbaya too. Honey, but Nene done read that girl for fifth, honey. Read that girl for fear. Because Candy or somebody, somebody, no, it was Cynthia, got up at the little shindy, the little kumbaya, and said that she wanted Nene, she wanted all the other girls to help her watch the dish, but she wanted Nene, she wanted Nene and Kenya, the Kiki, you know, stay back in Kiki. Try to work out some things, you know, since they always have bad blood. 
So, Kenya said, no, Kenya said she was going to bed. But then after she got in the house, and I think Candy was talking to her, yeah, because y'all know Candy all up in the mix. Candy all up in the business. So, I saw that. But anywho, uh, Candy was telling Candy, you know, you could at least talk to me because, you know, woo, woo, woo. So, Kenya tried to get some dessert to go back out there to make a peace offering. You know, the side of, you know, Nene wasn't having it. And Nene was done with it. She was done with her. And when she came back out, she looked like to me like she had to have a few cocktails with her man. Well, either way it go, when she did come back out there, honey, she read Kenya up up elf. Yes, she did. Yeah, she came on out there, honey, and read that girl for a fifth, honey. She was ready. But really, then they weren't even talking to her. She just had to rewatch that. I think Nene had to have a couple of drinks. Because Nene generally, you know, she'll go off. But she generally speaks when being spoken to. Unless she's just trying to be a mean girl. You know what I mean? And most of the time when she's trying to be a mean girl, she done been on that lane. She done been on that cocktail, honey. I'm telling you. Uh-huh. And then, Nene went live right after the show. Nene went live, as y'all see it. And Nene said that Kenya been out telling folks that the, that the reunion is going to be epic. Mm. Said she told that the reunion was going to be epic. And Nene said, oh, yes, it's going to be epic. She said she's going to read everybody for filth. Everybody, every, she said everybody who got a tongue on it, she's going to read them for filth. They better not come away. She said they better not come away. She talked about Candy on their house. Candy was a hater and Candy can never be on her side. Y'all, I'm telling you, the Atlanta house was on. It's done, guys. You said, you said, you said. Mm-hmm. Well, it's over now. It's over now. Um, well, at least, and then you say that they weren't recording the reunion right now, like that. So, however, y'all, y'all see we done done with this thing, baby. I told y'all, I told you, it was my favorite. Y'all, we did it, we did it. <coughs> We did that. In the pseudo get down, in the get down shirt. Hey! <laughs> y'all, we finna go, we finna go, we finna go. Big Ben says good night. Y'all, before we get out of here, I want to make sure I tell you again, you guys, please make sure that you're doing all that you can to protect yourself and your family. You guys, wash your hands, you guys. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Y'all, this thing is serious. It's going on in the world with us right now. Take care of each other. Make sure you pray for each other. Pray for everyone in the Legion. And let's get up out of here. Like I told you, Big Ben says good night. He said good night, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. He says it's refreshing. And I spit some of them out. I saw it. <laughs> To all my new legion, I love you guys so, so, so much. Me and my legion want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be here. That's what we love you for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the legion. To all my existing legion, y'all know. Y'all my guys and gals. Did that go right? <laughs> As you did, I said my guys and gals. I love you guys so, so much. Y'all know I love you. I love you so, so much. Mm -hmm. You guys are simply great. Two, anyone else that may be peeking and not speaking. You ain't a part of the existing legion. You know, you ain't a part of the new legion. You just kind of peeking and not speaking. Go to hit that subscribe button for me. I love you all too. Mm -hmm. So y'all, we're finna get up out here. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love each and every one of you guys. Y'all, again, make sure you're taking care of yourself and your family. You guys do not put your family in harm's way in any kind of way if you don't have to, okay? I love you all so, so much. I'm going to see you guys next time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that when obstacles show up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there, you guys. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. 
And if you're not there to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I ain't turn it off yet, but I will turn it off. They can see you. I know you're going to exercise. Huh? They can see you doing that. And you know you're going to exercise. I just stuff on the end. Most of the time, I don't take it out. So now they're going to hear you. They're going to hear you. No. I be leaving stuff in there at the end. So now they're going to hear you. So you might say, hey, Legion. You might have gone on and tell say, hey, Legion. Child going on. Y'all see y'all tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Tell them, hey, honey. Tell them again. Hi. Y'all heard it. She said, hi, y'all. We love you guys. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.